Snack Linda. <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, I'm sure at the bar Snack Linda, there's plenty of snacks to eat, is there not? Uh, I'm sure there is. Uh, I, uh, yeah, so, yes, um, Guizan, pretend to lose. Say what? Terry will take me to land You trust a punk like Terry? Okay. Yes. So, what I'm trying to uh, what I'm trying to avail to the fans here is this, and I know you can hear this cool song, but you can hear me too. Retro Izuki '81 and One Shima Tree. This is uh, my uh, idea, or should I say? Uh, uh, something to to help the Shema group, like uh, uh, but whatever you, you were gonna you, we we're gonna call it. I just call it. Here's an idea. This just, just, this is an idea. Randomly, random, random, bam, whatever. Okay. <laughs> here's an idea, and I'm not cooking. Not bam, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Cook a lot because uh, I've got nothing better to do in my current uh, situation and state of living. Now, here's an idea, and here's maybe two or three ideas, but the one idea I want to make clear right now, idea number one, I'll call number these, idea number one is this. What do you say, everyone in the Shema group, uh, let's have this, okay? Let's have a Shenmue, uh, a role-playing game, like, okay, take for instance, we have uh, uh, Guizong that I, I, I was just playing Guizong, okay? Uh, Guizong's theme music, when he's teaching Ryu the swallow dive. And uh, so he teaches the swallow dive to Ryuzuki. Now, let's say this. Uh, let's have a role-playing game. Shemu, let's start out with Shemu 1, starting with Shemu 1, role-playing. Let's call it Shemu 1 role role players role players okay like uh, uh so we have the main characters ryuzuki and then we have guizang and then we have nozomi harasaki and then we have uh tom at the hot dog truck uh should we include any others that's three ryuzuki guizang nozomi harasaki that's four actually four Tom at the hot dog snack truck. Okay, I know another one. Uh, how about Landy? Let's have Landy. So we got five players, okay? Play as five different characters. Ryuzuki, Guizang, Chen, Nozomo Harasaki, and uh, Tom at the hot dog truck. I don't know what his last name is. And then we have Landy Sama, the Chiyo Men uh, leader. Five role-playing characters. What do you say? I know you would all agree. I know you're the one that guided Landy. What do you say? I know you're the one that guided Landy. Now, what if I was an actor? The actor for Ryuzuki. Say I have enough hair to show. Uh, my hair looks cool enough being spiked. It's not spiked now. It's like a... You know, just, just slick back, wavy, uh, whatever we're going to say my hairstyle is now. Because I don't really know what to say it is, but it, it's it's combed. It's got uh, American Crew defining paste. It's got some uh, sculpting cream, American Crew, with the Elvis Presley guy on it. They don't sell those now, but I like Elvis too. Who likes Elvis Presley, huh? I like Elvis. Elvis. I mean, I'm not going to be dancing to the jailhouse rock, everybody, if I'm, uh, 
if I'm an actor, right? So the police officers are going to like me everywhere in the world. I mean, I don't think I'm a bad guy. Do you think I'm a bad guy, everyone? Do we, do we th think that Ryan Salazar is a bad guy or Rafael Salazar? See, I, I have some friends in Spain and uh, or, or Mexico and Mexico. Okay, Mexico, Spain, uh, some other Latino countries, Portugal, uh, Brazil. And they think that uh, Ryan's a great guy, you know. So I think everyone in my community uh, or Michigan, they should all think Ryan is a really great guy, you know. He's a nice guy, good man. Uh, now, I know I don't avail myself to, uh, I don't go in the bars in Michigan. I don't go to places like uh, where regular people go very much. I may go to a bar sometime, but I don't go very often. And I don't go taking out girls out on dates very often. Uh, the reason is for this is because uh, I, I don't have the financial uh, status I need. I don't have the good job. Like, if let's say, what if I was an insurance agent or something of that nature uh, that makes 60K and up with base pay? I mean, I could do a lot of things. I'm trying very hard to be like a an agent of something uh, like, a, like a company for insurance or uh, make like sales with base pay. So it's all gonna work out for me if I can get that good job, if I can get that degree in college, if I can just get, get what I need. Now the way to do it is to focus and concentrate and get it done. Now, if you can imagine, uh, you know how Ryo Hazuki struggles in Shemu 1 He's, he misses his college exams. Nozomi tells him this. Uh, he misses, like, a lot of things academically. He's falling behind. All he thinks about is karate. Uh, I'm actually still like that. Okay, I used to be like that, and I'm still like that. Now, I'm, not, I'm just calling it a coincidence, okay? I'm calling it a coincidence because this is a video game, okay? This is a video game. Shenmue... Believe me, is a video game, and uh, there's a disclaimer. I'm respecting the disclaimer, but uh, I have things in common with Shenmue, in my opinion. Okay, to me, I have things in common with Shenmue. Uh, yes. <laughs> Notice how Ryuzuki doesn't smile in Shenmue one and two. Well, I smile now. He smiles in three, but. Uh, let's just go and uh, move on from this subject now. Uh, not to say that uh, I'm this or that or you're this or that. or I mean, we're all, listen, we're all Ryuzuki, okay? All of us are Ryuzuki. All of us play Shenmue. We're fans of Shenmue. We're all Ryuzuki. Everybody in the, in the group is Ryuzuki. But me... When I try to kind of refer this to me, uh, I'm correlating it to me in some manner speaking. What I'm doing is trying to do this for the game and for Japan. I'm trying to do this for Japan and for Shenmue. I'm trying to deliver the, the martial arts, excuse me, uh, okay. I'm trying to deliver the martial arts sensation of Ryuzuki. Now, as you know, as we all know, okay, uh, there are martial arts movie actors in the film industry that are like in their 50s now, or they're, they're in their early 50s, uh, they're in their late 40s, whatnot. And, and they're very valuable martial arts celebrities or they're fight choreographers. Some of them make a lot of money, some of them are worth more, some of them are worth less. It's a whole variation. Now, I, um, what I'm saying is that even though I'm 41 years old, I can still do this, but I have to have what I need, everyone. I should be living like in an estate with everything provided. Uh, I'm trying to avail myself to Hollywood, to California, to, uh, to the world, essentially. Now, if I had a good life, if I had the care I needed or everything, whatever I needed, okay? 
I know, I know I should be working. I know I should be doing what I need to do. Oh, uh, I'm not born. I'm not, I'm not born into the lifestyle I need to be a martial artist. I want to quote that to everybody, okay? I'm not born into a martial arts lifestyle. Uh, take for instance this, okay? Remember Brian Wagner from Kickboxer 2, okay? Uh, his father, there's a line in a movie, he goes, uh, yeah, my father worked at a factory 12 hours a day. Uh, go, so I'll start over. He goes, yeah, my father worked in a factory 12 hours a day. He flowed. What did it get him? A heart attack. Boom. It's not going to happen to me. He tells this to David Sloan. Now, <laughs> uh, I'm kind of like in that kind of situation, in a manner of speaking, but because... Okay, no buts, but I'm saying because I'm from the working state, most of my family works in factories, okay? I want everybody to know that. My name is not Brian, it's Ryan, okay? My real name is Ryan, not Brian. Even though uh, I was almost going to be named Brian when I was born. Uh, ironically, that's what my mother says to me. Uh, love my parents, love my family. But... Uh, I am Ryan, Ryan Salazar. Now, Ryan uh, is a great name. Uh, I don't believe I have very much Irish ancestry. My ancestry is, uh, is uh, okay, let's say this. I'll just be honest, okay? I identify myself as Hispanic, as Spanish, as Spanish, Hispanic, Mexican, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if I have any Brazilian ancestry background, but I kind of feel like I do because I use martial arts so much. I know some people somewhat growing up, uh, feel like I'm Brazilian sometimes. I could just be Mexican. I could just be Spanish. Uh, but I, to my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge, I have uh, Spanish, Mexican descent. I have a uh, uh, British descent, lot, lots of British, lots of Spanish, lots of British. So it's most I'm, I'm I, I believe that I'm like Spanish, Mexican, a lot of British, and lots of Scottish. And mostly that's my whole genetic makeup. I have a lot of Scottish in me also, you know, like the Highlander, uh, being from Scotland, uh, Scottish like Sean Connery, uh, Adrian Paul. If you take, for instance, Adrian Paul, you look him up on Wikipedia, look up Adrian Paul on Wikipedia. His background, he's the coolest martial artist, one of the coolest martial artists of the 90s, everybody, okay? And uh, he even goes through the year 1995, I believe it's in season four, okay? So in season four, we have High Under the Series, and it, it says 1995, okay? So we have this, and uh, he's in the 90s this Adrian Paul uh, actor. And his background is uh, he's British and he's Italian. Now, I appear to a lot of people in my community, people think that I'm Italian. They perceive me as a Italian because, uh, you know, my hair, uh, <laughs> whatever, whatnot, my, my, my olive skin tone, my eye color, uh, they think I'm Italian. I'm Italian, man. I'm Italian. Yeah. And hey, I, I would be happy if I was Italian too. Uh, but we can't choose what we are in life. Now, enough lecture and all these things. <laughs> because, I mean, hey, I'm American. Okay, I'm American. But let me tell you this. Uh, even though I'm American, do I, I mean, I kind of... I know I resemble someone also, like if I'm Japanese, uh, you know, looking from the side, uh, say I have facial hair. I mean, I could be Miyamoto Musashi in a, in a movie too, I think. I could be Miyamoto Musashi, I even think if I had like a, like a, you know, katana. And I, you know, to be honest, Chodan, 
Songdan, what is it? Chodan. Uh, there's different kinds of stances you can have. And uh, is that Chodan? I don't know. Forget. I'm confusing it with Korean or it is drill stance or drill holding for a sword. It's middle, upper, lower, draw, you know, all kind of ways. I could learn a sword, I think. I think I could learn to use it and wield a katana very well. Uh, I have to be accepted into the class, like a Sioux art. Uh, and I was accepted into my, uh, into a Japanese art long ago. Uh, it's in the past. I haven't seen uh, my students, my, my fellow, the, the students I trained with or the teacher many for many years. Uh, uh, they moved on, moved on to greener pastures, better life. Yes. And uh, me, I've trained Korean arts in Michigan. I've trained, uh, and this one Korean art I trained had an integration of a Northern Chinese style. If you look up Subak Do, uh, it has a Chinese style. And to the best of my knowledge, it, to the best of my knowledge, it was a Northern Chinese style integrated into Subak Do. Okay. So yes. Uh, so if we have that northern Chinese style in my art, uh, it kind of makes sense and correlates with uh, Shenmue to me. Because if it correlates to Shenmue like that, there's a northern Chinese martial art in my karate system. Uh, I mean, it's telling me like this, like maybe some Kung Fu in there or something of that nature. Uh, so, yes, uh, there's that. Now, let's say, let's go back to this one subject, okay? If I was Ryuzuki in a movie, okay, just, uh, I can do this, I know I can do this, but I need the chance, I need the opportunity availed to me, I need it, the opportunity to open, the door to open on, to me. Uh, now, I know, as you know, I'm not in the best shape, okay? I know... I have this little gut, little belly. Uh, I think I'm healthy enough. I think I'm healthy. I I mean, I'm still alive, ironically, today. Okay. I want to tell everybody, I've been through a lot of things in my life with my health, actually. Uh, I've had not the best of luck in my life, but I've never given up. And I've always, always uh, tried. I've tried to... Uh, respect and honor what I'm expected to be, even though I may not agree. I may not agree with what I'm expect with the expectations I'm to be, but I've tried very hard to live up to the expectations of my that you know say, you know if I can't break away from my family or whatever whatnot, I'm not understanding how to break away from something in life. Uh, I didn't know how, but. Now that I'm older, or that I'm more smarter, uh, I mean, it's like this. Uh, I know better now, but uh, I mean, I'm not saying anything is too late in life to do. If you're still young enough and still have something to offer to people, to the you know, to the public or whatever, whatnot. I'm like trying to sell myself, everyone. I'm trying to sell myself to be this Ryuzuki in a movie. Uh, now, here's a random idea, okay? Uh, we could have two Ryuzukis if we want, I'm thinking. We could have like two of them in movies. Now, let's say this. If, if I don't win the, the crowd's uh, approval, or if I don't win like the, everybody's... Uh, you know, ad admiration, approval. People don't like me enough. They don't. It's, this is this is what I'm getting at. The only way I'm uh, there's going to be a uh, there's going to it's probably it's not it's just going to happen. Like the only way people are going, they're going to love me. They're going to accept me a whole lot. They're going to really like me and they're going to respect me 
and have a lot of respect for me if I am like the full package. I have to be the full package of Ryuzuki, okay? Now, when I say the full package, this is what I mean. My body has to be really fit and healthy, in shape. I have to be so healthy and strong. Like, uh, you know, like, I mean, it's like that, okay? It's like, I gotta be so healthy, so strong. I, I mean, this is what I'm saying, everybody. If you look at my body, I have the, actually have the stances of Ryuzuki. I have the stances of the real Ryuzuki. I have the hair of the real Ryuzuki. I have everything about the real Ryuzuki. Notice how my hair is kind of layered. It's like kind of layered, has layers, like feathered look. You see that? Okay. I have like this feathered kind of look about me. And let me say this. I'm born in 1981. And because I'm born in 1981, in, 19, in 1999, 1990. Not nine, everybody, okay? 1999, nine, one, nine, 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 1999. Shenmue 1 was released on the Dreamcast. Do you, does everybody know how old I was in 1999? Can we guess? If I was born in 1981 and uh, Shenmue 1 came out on the Dreamcast in America, in 1999, how old was I? Okay, seven plus one is eight. Plus 10 is 17, 1998. Plus one is uh, 1999. And I was 18 years old in 1999. This is going off, ironically. During a video cast. Is this late already? I should go home. You need to sound a worry. Hmm. Oh, is this late already? I should go home. You need to sound a worry. <laughs> See, when I put feeling into my uh, voice for Ryuzuki, or even Guizan, there's so many people I, I'm naturally gifted voiceover, I believe, but I have to be accepted into that industry, to be respected into that industry of voiceovers, or to be respected in that industry of martial arts movie actors. I have to be respected into the industry of like uh, personality actors, like say Jack Nicholson, no Picasso, well, no Picasso, Vicky Vale, So, um, going on 24 minutes almost. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's see this. I want to talk about QTE at the end, everybody. QTE Shenmue. Got it. Here's some video. QTE Shenmue. doesn't want to take when I tell it what it, it's like a mistype yeah. all right Q T E Shenmue don't you hate how this <laughs> computers don't understand everything we were trying to say but they do a lot more things I guess we should respect what computers and